What's up guys, Quan here. Uh, if you don't know, I'm a personal trainer here in Chicago. Um, I run my own business. I've been doing this now for about, I've been independent for about two years now. I've been a personal trainer for seven. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about today in this brand new video series that I'm starting, uh, just a little motivational series, is finding your passion. Sometimes you have to ask yourself, why do you do certain things? You know, if you wake up every day, go to your nine to five, and you sit at your desk and you're honestly miserable, which there's a lot less of those people than, you know, motivational speakers and other people would tell you that there are. But if you're miserable every day and you're trying to figure out why your life isn't going the way you want it to go, I would ask, sit and ask myself, look in the mirrors, make eye contact with yourself and ask, if I could do anything in the world, what would that thing be? And honestly, start writing things down, get you a dry erase board, and start planning towards that goal because honestly, when I was a personal trainer at a big box gym, I realized that I was doing sort of what I wanted to do, but not the way that I wanted to do it. And I found myself getting really, really upset because for some reason, I wasn't happy. I was working the hours I wanted, I was teaching classes, I had the people around me, I had the women around me, I had the, you know, the, the guy friends, the people to go out with and all that stuff. And for some reason, I just felt like something was off. It wasn't until I quit that job and started working for myself that I realized I needed my own structure. I needed to really live by faith and go out there and go after it hard on my own. And for me, the safety and the structure of the big box gym kind of hindered me in a sense. Also, the way the sales goals were set up were making it so that training wasn't as genuine. It was more of like, how can I get my next sale, not how can I get my clients to their goal. So once I realized that was a big issue for me, I stepped away, you know, started my own thing, did a few things on the side in between in order to you know, sustain my lifestyle and um, quality of life. But as these last two years have gone by, I've realized that working for myself really gives me that sense of urgency that I needed. Like I wake up at four in the morning most days without hesitation. I mean, I might snooze a little bit, but that's why I set my alarm at 3.30 or 3.45 so I can hit the button a few times. Um, but no one tells me I have to be anywhere at a certain time. Like I make my own schedule and it's a freeing, it's a very amazing freeing feeling when you have it like that. And that brings me back to, I found what I like to do in life and that's be a personal trainer, um, be in the fitness industry, uh, coach, lead others. And I've been able to do a lot of awesome things in the last year, the last year for sure, but the last two years has, has been pretty decent as well. But if you're thinking about starting something on your own or doing your own thing, you have to remember that it won't be all sunshine and rainbows. You know, I was evicted from an apartment during this time. I um, you know, had some relationships blow up. I had you know, some friends I ended up losing. Like there's, there's a lot of things that happen when you challenge the status quo and do something on your own. But, and there's a lot of people out there who are gonna take advantage of you trying to do that. But it doesn't mean it's not possible. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. If you have a dream in your heart and there's something you want to spend your life doing, go after that. If you don't, you're wasting your time. Life is too damn short to spend it doing mundane tasks, doing things that don't have you, don't leave you feeling fulfilled. So for me, you know, that motivation, that drive, that fire comes from knowing that I'm doing something that I love every day. I'm not perfect at it, I make mistakes every day. I also make strides every day and that's the beauty of it. So if you're sitting there getting ready for work today or getting off work, whenever you're watching this and you feel unfulfilled, it's up to you to make those changes necessary to get to where you want to be in life. So make those changes, take that risk. Please do it a little more calculated than I did because one day I just came to work and quit my job and that wasn't a good idea. Be a little more calculated, make some plans, get some money together and go out there, move to that place, start that business, talk to that person, set up that meeting, do those things that you wanted to do to live the life that you want to live. And I promise, you won't regret it. And you'll probably end up in a much better position than you're in, at least right now. So, thanks for watching guys. These videos are gonna get a little more crisp, a little more clean every time we do them. But uh, this is the first episode of my motivation series and I uh, just want to say thanks for watching. Again, my name's Quan. I'm a personal trainer here in Chicago. If you're interested in training with me, shoot me an email at coach at trainwithquan.com. Um, I offer online training as well as in person. So yeah, hit me up if you're interested in that. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.